Well, hello, everyone. It's Tuesday, January the 16th, 2024. I am Doug. It is time once again to Wordle. Uh, hope everyone's bundled up and warm because Dr. Snow Canada uh, has written us a communique and said, Hello from Canada. I'm loving your videos. Thank you so much. I'm throwing a snowball at you in the hopes that your next starting word is snowy. Well, there you go. Well, uh, Dr. Snow, I am happy to oblige. I remember when I was a kid, one of my favorite activities was going, building snowmen, having snowball bite, the uh, snowball bites. Wow. Well, I really am hungry. Snowball fights with the neighbors, uh, so on and so forth. We don't get much snow here where I'm at now, so I'm going to live vicariously through y'all, and we're going to try snowy. And okay, a pretty good starting word here. Uh, spot on in terms of that O right in the third position, uh, locked in position, the O. And of course, we have an N out of position. Uh, lots we can do here. Um, boy, it's, you know, it's one of those things right away. You know what I look at is, is there a double O in this one? No, no rhyme or reason why I would think that, except for, I suppose... I suppose maybe what gets me in that frame of mind is the N. So, I mean, there's plenty of words that you go with O-O-N, um, although a lot of them start with an S. So I'm not sure if that's really necessarily, when I think it through, and say we're just doing this in real time and I'm putting up evaluations without thinking them through, maybe that's not necessarily it. Although I do like the idea of that N potentially being uh, in the, at the end of the puzzle. Uh, so now if you just take that O out, now you've got uh, some interesting things to work with here. Of course, we have four other vowels that are a possibility. Uh, what about if you had an O-A-N? So uh, how about, for example, like the word groan is kind of interesting to me. Um, that's, that is an interesting possibility. Um, I wonder if maybe that's my play here. You know, we haven't had a... No, actually, I think it was a week or two ago. We did have a, recently um, a two-guest solve, but I'm always happy to try and shoot for another one. Um, groan would be fun. We'll get the N and tell, and we'll test G, R, and A. You know, why not? Why not? Now, I, I feel like this is one of those situations where we don't necessarily need a full five-letter eval. So let's see... <laughs> Uh, if the, the answer is the word most people probably do when I make jokes on this channel, is the answer to today's puzzle groan? No, it's not. Uh, okay, well, we ruled out GR and A. We know the N is still hanging out there, so we do have that information. That's fine. I'm not going to complain. Uh, now, one other thesis here. So we know the N has to be in the first or the fourth, and I kind of like it in the fourth at this point. So what about O-N-E? Because we haven't tested the E yet. Uh, now that would leave potentially, let's see. Uh, what would make sense if we looked at O-N-E words? Uh, could be, see, I think I think of things like stone. We tested the S. Again, with that, without that S, maybe some of these uh, don't quite make a lot of sense. We tested the R, so something like prone won't work. Um, so maybe that isn't necessarily the, the root, although I, I, I still can't, I don't mind that O-N-E, um, alone can't work because we tested the A, uh, I'm just trying to think, a clone is a possibility, a clone is very interesting now that I look at that, mmm, the more I think about that, the more, the more I find myself interested in clone, um, because I, I've got a good feeling about that E. I'm, I'm not sure that I'm on board with the U or the I being players here, uh, unless it was quote. <laughs> that would also be very interesting, wouldn't it? Although if that was the direction I'm supposed to go in, I'll at least get the... No, it can't be quote. There has to be an N. I'm sorry. I, I take that back. Forget that. It, it, can't, it can't be quote because we have to have an N. So clone it actually maybe is the leading candidate here. So let's find out if that's the answer. Uh, is the answer to today's puzzle the word clone? No, it's not. But look at that. L-O-N in position. So, okay, no E's. I don't think we're going to have a U or an I at the end. I don't think there's an O at the end. So the interesting thing for me to think about is what is... What is that last letter? 
Um, hmm. L O N T. Um, okay. Now I'm a little confused. Uh, what would make sense for the last letter? Uh, L O N K. Um, plonk. Is that even a word? I'm not even sure if that's a word. I think I've heard it. Like, where have I heard the word plonk? Like, um, the, the it's like a sound effect or like a sound. But that's really, here's the problem. I feel like I'm really reaching here. This doesn't really make any sense to me. I feel like that's. And P and K is all I'm testing on that. I'm, I'm not. Com I'm gonna be honest. I'm not comfortable with that. That just doesn't feel right to me. But the other problem here is um, looking through the different letters, like trying to rule out their position at the end. I, and I think you have to. You have to look at these right to left. Um, like I don't see besides the K. Any here's the problem. I don't see. Besides the K, any other valid um, fifth letter? I mean, plonk. I like I said. I feel like that's the. I feel like that's uh, a sound effect. Uh, um, boy, I feel a little weird going with this, but that I'm not seeing anything else. So I'm with some trepidation. Going to say is the answer to this puzzle the word plonk? No, it's not. Neither letter comes in. All right. Well, uh, it's two more letters that we can't consider. So let's see. That last letter, it's not Q. It's not T-U-I-D-D. L-O-N-D. Lond. Almond. There's too many letters. Uh, oh, blonde. Blonde. Now, that looks very promising. I guess the only thing that makes me a little nervous here, the only thing that makes me nervous here is I've always spelled blonde, B-L-O-N-D-E. Uh, and I'm not sure if there, I guess that is an alternate spelling. I feel like that's, I feel like that must be um, this gets into one of those like very interesting English grammar, English spelling pieces of trivia. I feel like I probably, I feel like I've seen it spelled both ways. I'm feeling comfortable about that assessment. Um, quite frankly, I don't know where we go if it's not blonde. <laughs> so I guess you have to give this a go. Um, so with a little bit of nervousness and I'm somewhat confident in this. Uh, but very interesting uh, is the answer to today's puzzle, B-L-O-N-D, blonde. Yes, it is. There you go. All right. Uh, well, not going to lie. That one had me a little on the nervous side. Uh, <laughs> so there you go. It's, it, it gets into sometimes in Wernal we find these little interesting things. Um, I believe I've seen blonde spelled B-L-O-N-D-E more than B-L-O-N-D, but clearly uh, I'm not going to question the folks at the Times on this one, uh, and I'm happy to take the win. So let me know in the comments. Did you get tripped up on that a little bit? Um, uh, can we? Can someone confirm for me that these are uh, – well, obviously, they're both valid spellings, obviously, since it was the puzzle. So interesting puzzle today. Uh, interesting puzzle. Well, folks, as always, thank you so much uh, for tuning in. Tomorrow, uh, we are going to try the word – Third, T-H-I-R-D. Uh, so that should be fun. Maybe we'll get it in three. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, well, anyway, folks, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for some more Wordle.